Hey guys, I'm Braden Bell. I'm down here at the AT&T Fan Zone, joined by college basketball royalty, coach of the North Carolina Tar Heels, Roy Williams. I'm Bill, and this is my best friend, Braden. I don't even need to intro it. This man does it all. Bill Walton, you see him here. So I got to ask you, Bill, you said we're in San Antonio, a great city, the River Walk. What do you think of them as a host city so far? Very interesting Final Four. Three of these four coaches, their first trip to the Final Four. So let's go back to 1991, your first journey with Kansas. What was that experience like for you? Game day here in Minneapolis, Texas Tech and Virginia will tip off at about 8.20 local time tonight over at U.S. Bank Stadium. The storyline, it really couldn't be better. The Brew Crew show rolls on today as the electric outgetters are scheduled to be on the mound as Corey Knable, Josh Hader, and others will throw for Craig Council and company. The Brew Crew take on the Diamondbacks today here in Maryvale at 105. Here at Phoenix Muni, the Sun Devils will try to keep on keeping on and keep doing what they've been doing so well so far this season, win baseball games. It's game day here in Tempe, but the bank will be quiet tonight as ASU on the road in Boulder. Like Bobby Hurley said, it's a critical stretch of the season for ASU with five of their last seven games on the road. The Devils are going to have to win away from Tempe in order to put themselves in good position for the NCAA tournament. So you heard earlier in the show about Bobby Hurley's historic recruiting class for the men's basketball program. But the men's squad isn't the only team that should be strong next year. Charlie Turner Thorne and the Devils women's team return everybody from last year's team. Literally everybody. Alex Gull has more. All right, Carly, so, so what's going on? It, it seems like this team was not talked about at all in the preseason, and now all of a sudden they're ranked. People are talking about them all the time. Where did this come from? Sure. We've both had bumps so far in our first two top <laughs> plays. G. Juarez had no bumps in this game. A no-hitter against BYU. She's been phenomenal all year long for the Sun Devils, but this was perhaps her best moment so far at least. No hitting the BYU Cougars. Look at all those zeros up there on the scoreboard of Farrington. Beyonce once said, if you like it, you should have put a ring on it. Zahid Valencia loves wrestling. Put a ring on it. Won the national title. 32-0. I mean, the man was literally perfect. Give him a lot of props and a big-time moment for him. A pretty easy decision to be the top play of the year. Arizona State Baseball. They pride themselves as being MLBU. Historically, that's been very true. With alums like Reggie Jackson, Barry Bonds, and Dustin Pedroia, this couldn't be more correct. Recently, though, the program has fell on rough times. But the next great Sun Devil is here, and ASU fans should appreciate him while they still can. Gage Canning is the next great star to come out of Arizona State. His numbers so far, they're unreal. We are 21 games into the season, and Canning is still batting around 500 on the year. He also leads the nation in triples and plays great in the outfield. But perhaps his best attribute, his leadership. Arizona State baseball needed a star this season, and Gage Canning has done all of that and more. So ASU fans, he's right in front of you, a future stud on the next level. So I recommend heading out to Muni and watching him play in person before it's too late. And that's the way it is.